In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. I'm going to talk about chapter 5. Well, this is the second audio, uh, video clip that I want to have my lecture in. Okay, uh, the second process uh, uh, after uh, borrowing and loan translation in different languages, including English, is the process of compounding. What happens in, when we have something like compounding? We simply put two things, two words together to make a bigger word. Let us see. Well, yes. In, so, uh, in some of the examples we have just considered, there is a joining of two separate words to produce a single form. Okay? So, learn what are combined, uh, these of, of, of course these are not English words, uh, are to produce learned words in German. Okay? This combination process technically known as, uh, uh, is known as com uh, compounding. Well, uh, I suppose we have, can um, find good examples uh, online. Let's see. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one, line one, two, three, four, five, line five of the book. Uh, book, case, uh, we put the word book and case together to make a new word, okay? A case for the book, okay? A bag for the book, okay? And doorknob, uh, doorknob, a combination of door and knob, and fingerprints, a combination of finger and print. Uh, Okay, so these combinations are called, uh, in fact, compounding. Sunburn, sunburnt, sunburn, textbook, wallpaper, waste, waste basket, and waterbed are examples of compounding. Okay, well, uh, so you can put two things together to make a bigger word. So, as easy as that, compounding is very frequent in many languages, including English and Farsi, and I suppose Arabic. I don't know when Arabic has got compounding or not, but I suppose uh, there is, there is, there are so many examples in uh, compounding in Arabic, like ma al ward, ma al ward, ma al ward, ma al ward, compounding. I suppose it is uh, compounding in Arabic. I don't know exactly. Maybe you are going to help us with this. The next one is blending. Blending is when you cut two poor words and put them together. If there are two big words. You cut part of one and cut another part of the second and put these two things together, okay, like this. One from this part, another from that part, and you make something like this. These are called uh, blending. Well, good examples in English are to begin with line three or four. Yes, small. Uh, suppose we have got the word smoke and we have fog. Smoke and fog. You know smoke uh, and fog that, for example, in uh, polluted cities like Tehran, like let's say uh, other polluted cities, on the sky of the the sky and the skies we can have. So suppose in the morning there is some smoke of the cars, uh, in fact, and there is the fog. Okay, it's a kind of cloud fog. We put two, these two words together to make a, word, a special kind of word like smog. When you look at the word smog, you see the first part belongs to smoke. And the second part belongs to fog. So instead of saying smoke, smoke, fog, okay, compounding, we make it shorter and say smog. So, smog is a combination of smoke and fog. Well, let's see. Uh, there are other examples here as well. Like, 
milk is made for smoke and haze, and smirk for smoke and murk. Okay, and let us go to better examples out here. Well, when we say bit in computer, bit, okay, and byte in computer, it's a combination of binary and digit. Look, by from binary and t from digit. So we make the word bit, okay? So in computer, they actually made something like this. Another good example is this guy, brunch. You know lunch? You know breakfast? So we combine breakfast and lunch and we make brunch, okay? Breakfast and lunch for brunch, okay? And motor and hotel, okay? Maybe you have been to the north of Iran, you have got so many hotels there. But a combination of motor means the, in fact, cars, etc., etc., and hotel. What does it mean? It means that there is a special kind of hotel which is, uh, in fact, gives you uh, a place to car park your car. So let's call it motel, as you see here. Motel. Okay, a combination of motor and hotel. These are good examples of what is it? Look, 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 blending. You blend, you mix two words together. One part of one word and another part of another. Sometimes the beginning of one word and the end of another word. Okay, and there are lots of other examples. Okay. Like channel, channel, uh, which is a combination of channel and tunnel, okay, and uh, other examples like telex here, like let's say frangle here, etc. Okay, and suppose uh, this is from other languages as well. Let us not uh, continue with that. The next one is clipping. What is a clipping? We have got a big word. You make it smaller. As easy as that. Examples. Uh, examples. Uh, the word facsimile, line, line two. Okay, facsimile. It is used to fax. Have you ever known that the word fax and telephone? Fax? not telephone, of course, is a kind of word formation called clipping, cutting short, cutting short. What do we do? We have got a very big word, uh, an, an ugly one, suppose, uh, an ugly one, suppose. Uh, now we have got a little one, and so it's beautiful, and we use it. Okay? Okay? The third line is gasoline gasoline okay can we make it short yes gasoline is used by cars uh, not buses okay we say we make it short to have gas gas okay what's it called we call it as clipping okay Okay, and there are other examples. Add the short form of advertisement. Bra, a short form of brassiere, so it's difficult to pronounce even. And cab, cabriolet, condo, condominium, and fan, fanatic. Flu, flu, good example here. Good example. Influenza, a big word, a big word. Okay. We make it short enough, like flu, okay? It's like this one. And, and, and other examples. Yes, perm, perambulant. Phone is the short form of telephone. Plane is the short form of airplane. And 
and etc. Other example. Sometimes noun, proper nouns, the names of people actually are in fact short, made short, like Al, Ed, Liz, Mike, Ron, Sam, Sue, Tom. Okay. All these words are from are from bigger words. So when you have to go to dictionaries in order to find these, in fact, full, full forms. Al is the short form of, let's say, Alexander. Ed is the short form of Elizabeth, Edwin. And Liz is the short form of Elizabeth. Mike, Michael, Ron, Ronald, Sam, Samuel, Sue, Susan, and Tom Thomas. Okay? And sometimes we make in something like these two lines below. So it's the story of uh, word formation called called clipping clipping okay like other examples chem for chemistry exam for examination gym for gymnasium gymnasium okay a place that we actually go and play okay lab for the laboratory math mathematics Visit for uh, physical education. Policy means for poli poli political uh, 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 poly and science. Uh, uh, I don't know policy, poly polytechnic and science. Yeah, uh, something like this. And prof for for professor. Typo for typo setting uh, mistakes. Uh, okay, a special type of clipping is hypochorism which is no, uh, we make a very big one uh, word smaller and add a y or i e to the end i or y e to the end like what let's see did you ever know that the word movie the word movie is the short form of moving picture we make the first part and add IE to the end. Moving pictures. Okay. Movie means film with a short form of moving moving pictures. What do we do? We make we make the beginning of it and add IE here. And tally for television. When they say tally for television, you know, we take the first part uh, of television and add Y. Maybe in Arabic, when they use the word telfaz, it is something like this. Uh, why? Because we don't use the whole word televi, tele, uh, tel, 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 uh, the Arabic pronunciation mixed with English and Farsi. <laughs> I'm actually mixing Telev, uh, tel, television, television. Okay, and in Farsi they say television. You remember we told with this we have v, which is not part part of Arabic pronunciation. Well, other examples are Aussie for Australian. Okay, Barbie. For barbecue, okay, Barbie for bike barbecue, Becky, uh, Bucky, Brecky for breakfast, Hanky uh, for uh, ha uh, handkerchief, etc. Toasty for toasted sandwich, etc. Well, another examples. Okay, well. Uh, the next pro uh, process is when there is a kind of word formation, but we cut into a special type. Uh, we cut it into cut it shorter, but actually we cut the word. Uh, but we think that this part of the word is this prefix or a suffix that we have cut. I'm just repeating it. Suppose that there is a word. Uh, and we think that, and we think that, in this word, we have a prefix or a suffix. We cut it. But that, that part of word is not a suffix. We call it, in fact, 
uh, back formation. Why? Because we caught it. We simply caught it. That is one good example is television. Okay? Television in English is a combination of tele and vision. Okay? Look at the word vision at the end. Vision, when you look, I, there's an S I O N, I O N at the end. They thought this, this is the suffix at the end of it. So they wanted to make a verb. What did they do? They actually made something like televise. Televise out of television. What happens here? I am just repeating. They think that the word television is tele and v and gen. Tele, v, and gen. And think that the, this gen is at the end. This gen at the end is a suffix. It is not a suffix. It is part of the root. They caught it. They make a word like televise out of it. And add, now the television is a noun and televise is a verb. Well, other examples which are in fact made like this are uh, given here. Let's go to the, the next one. Donate from donation. Okay. A, uh, donation uh, at the end. Emote from emotion. Well, emotion, uh, there's a, uh, for these words... Uh, we actually do not have I-O-N at the end as a suffix. I-O-N is as a root. They caught it. Enthuse from enthusiasm. Liaise from, lia, lia, liaise from liaison. Okay? And other examples are given here. Well, and uh, this is the way. Remember, back formation. I'm just repeating. Back formation, they think that there is something at the end which is a suffix. They cut the suffix, but this is not a suffix. It is part of the root. Part of the root. Example, television. Tele, part one, we put it aside. Look at the word vision. Vision is not a combination of V plus Jin. S-I-O-N. Vision altogether is one word. We cannot cut it into two words, okay? So, mistakenly, they cut it into two parts. So, other examples are ba back there. Let us see. Well, and, mm, mm, look. Well, look at this word. We, when we have work, we can add ER to a, the end of it. To have worker. Okay? So, is it possible for me to uh, reduce this ER to make work? To make the word worker into work? Yes, it is possible. Why? We just added uh, an ER to the end. But actually, look at these examples. Look at these examples. They thought that there is an ER at the end, which is a which is a prefix, a suffix, but it is not. Look, look, look. Editor, there's an OR at the end. They thought that this OR is something like EROR, which makes uh, a noun for us. They have caught it to have edit. This is one example. The sculptor, the same way, OR at the end. They, feel, they thought this OR is, in fact, uh, uh, something like ER. They cut it. It is part of the root. It was not a prefix, the suffix. So they cut it. The sculpt from a sculpt, a sculptor and babysitter. Babysitter, uh, yani. Uh, in Arabic, I do I know the word Arabic? Well, uh, I don't know how to explain it in in in. Uh, 
Elbette. Okay. Uh, well, well, I don't know. I don't know. Let us not uh, say something that I don't know. Okay. So babysitter. It is it is a combination of baby and sitter. Sitter er at the end is part of the word sitter. Okay. It is not er which is like a work worker. So they cut it. And beggar. Look at this word. Beggar. Beggar. And then we have the word, the verb beg out of it. They think, thought that AR at the end is something like ER. They call it. And uh, burglar, pe peddlers are other examples. Swindlers and babysitter. Okay. Well, well the result is babysitter. Beg, burgle, and per pedal and swindle. I just stop here and let us finish it because I think that a smaller size uh, clips is, are better for you to work on and it is easier for us to in fact uh, send it to you and it is easier for you to receive it. Thank you very much. I just stop uh, uh, end it uh, and the next discussion on the next part.